sports page with the Orlando Sentinel and FM 96.9 The Games, Mike the Bulldog Bianchi. On JRR. Bulldog Sports Page brought to you by Kaufman and Lind. Hey, uh, Mike, do we want to throw it to the F1 desk from Monza in Italy and uh, handle the motorsports stuff up front, and then we'll uh, focus on the college football preview? What do you think? Let's do it. It's from the newly remodeled F1 desk. It's Taco Bob uh, previewing the Italian Grand Prix uh, Sunday morning at at 9. What what do you got for us there from Monza, Taco Bob? It reminds me of a favorite place over in Tampa called Mons as well, but that's Mons (laughs) Venus, which uh, I believe Max Verstappen would be a big fan of. And after last week's... uh, you know, loss. I don't like saying that about him. He's going to win this week. We're going for Stappen for the win. No thoughts on a Ferrari performing there uh, for for their fans. I forgot the guy's name. <laughs> so it's okay. All right. Uh, what? And, and then NASCAR, the final regular season race of the season, Bulldog. Uh, uh, Darlington Absolutely. Sunday night. In Darlington, 13 of the 16 drivers are locked into the playoffs. Martin Truex Jr. almost certainly going to get in on points. Then you got guys like Ty Gibbs, Chris Busher, Bubba Wallace trying to fight their way in on points as well. So we'll see what happens. Going to be exciting. Uh, before we get to UCF's game in college football, Orlando City hosts Nashville Saturday at the Purple Palace. The Orlando Pride still unbeaten. They host Gotham Sunday also at the Purple Palace. So hopefully... Both of those teams can win. UCF, wow. Uh, They had no trouble last night against the uh, very outmanned uh, FCS opponent, New Hampshire. Took them a while to get going, though, dog. Yeah, 57-3. to They end up winning 454 rushing yards, including 142 by R.J. Harvey. New Hampshire only mustered 162 yards of offense. Um, so, so New Hampshire runs out on the field. All right. So, yeah, I'm watching, yeah, I'm up in the press box. I, I'm like, is that, is that all the players they have? It was, it was like a high school team running out there against, you know, UCF. It looked like UCF had like 40 more players dressed out than New Hampshire did. Um, you're right though. KJ Jefferson, it's his first game. So give, you know, give him a, a, a bit of a break. First game, new coach, all of that. But he looked shaky. He looked shaky last night. Um, got going a little bit later in the game, but early in the game, he threw one pass that should have been picked off. He threw another pass right into uh, New Hampshire's hands. That was picked off. So uh, he ended up 7 of 14, 164 yards, a couple of touchdowns, one pick, uh, ran 11 times for 39 yards. But he has a lot of work to do, um, it, it, you know. When UCF gets the tougher opponents, yeah, oh yeah. Hey, uh, Coach Prime had quite the scare last night. Man, I don't know what they were thinking. So it's thirty-one to twenty-six. All they had to do was run the ball a couple of times with like one forty-one <laughs> left on the clock, and for whatever reason, Shadour Sanders, who was fabulous last night, threw for four hundred forty-five yards, four touchdowns. For whatever reason, he decides he's going to throw the ball down the field. Um, stops the clock, um, and and they get the ball back. North Dakota State gets the ball back with 31 seconds left, and they, 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 they uh, run a few plays. They threw a Hail Mary. The guy caught it four yards yeah. short of the end zone. Yeah. So they almost cost themselves a game with some bad, bad clock management. That would have been great if they'd have, I'm sorry, Prime, everybody's so tired of that guy. Well, yeah, so I think a lot of people rooting against Colorado, so especially, you know who's mostly rooting against Colorado? The Colorado Media Corps. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, all right, big games this weekend, Miami going up to the swamp to play Florida. Uh, Miami's a two and a half point favorite. Both coaches obviously have losing records after their first two years at the school. Mario Cristobal, Billy Napier. For whatever reason, even though Miami has a better roster on paper, Cam Ward is considered a much more dynamic quarterback than Graham Mertz. For whatever reason, I think the Gators are going to win this game. Mainly because it's at the swamp. And secondly, I just don't trust Mario Cristobal. <laughs> Game day. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Who do you like, Lynch? Uh, I would feel a lot better, and you alluded to it. I'd feel a lot better if this game was in South Florida. I'll yeah. leave it at that. Yeah. 
So we'll see what happens. Uh, Florida State, they don't play until Monday night. They play Boston College at home. They're favored by 16 and a half. Um, other big games on Saturday, Georgia at Clemson. I'm sorry, that's in Atlanta. Georgia versus Clemson in Atlanta. Um, Georgia's favored by 13 and a half. Seems a little much, but the Dogs are their number one team in the country, so we'll see what happens. Are but I, I like Clemson to cover that game. You got Notre Dame at uh, – Notre Dame's ranked number seven at number 20, Texas A&M. Texas A&M has a new coach, Mike Elko, who was at Duke last year. Um, then you have number 13, LSU, versus number 23, USC. I'll tell you what, Lincoln Riley better do something as the coach at USC because he hasn't done much since leaving Oklahoma to go to a Southern Cal. And uh, I'm not saying he's on the hot seat or anything, but he's been a bit of a disappointment thus far. Uh, other games, well, the, the other big game, I guess, guess would be number eight, Penn State at West Virginia. West Virginia is supposed to be pretty good this year, uh, but Penn State should win that game, even though it's in Morgantown. So. Uh, we'll have plenty more college football talk a little bit later on when we huddle up with Mark Daniels, the voice of our UCF Knights, who had the call last night. He'll join us in the, the last hour of the show. You going to squeeze in a little golf this weekend, fellas? Well, the chef is uh, – my pick, the chef is winning the, 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 the final – playoff tournament and so he's probably he may win that 25 million dollars so. well he's winning you're saying okay so he's at what 10 under uh, i don't have the scores i got you well shawfley who i picked is is right behind him i forgot when you picked the chef that pat he got to start at 10 under and right. shawfley started at eight under you remember this is how the final right. uh, the final yeah. and fedex goes anyway so yeah. i'm sticking with my pick and that oberg kid was my original pick before I switched on him. Uh, he's going to do pretty well, too. We'll see. All right. Mike the Bulldog Bianchi, host of Open Mic on AM 740 and FM 96.9 The Game, on adjacent to us each weekday morning. And we appreciate you taking time from your busy show to join us here for the sports page on JRR. Brought to you by Kaufman and Lind. Listen to Under Oath with attorney Jeff Coppin every Saturday morning, 7.30 on FM 96.9 The Game. You can catch extended versions on your favorite streaming platform. Oh, oh. Lynch and Taco. Download the iHeartRadio app.